Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install VirtualBox 5.2.2 on Ubuntu 17.10. This will work on basically most Linux operating systems, including Windows House and OS X House, but Linux distributions, as you, when we click on it, as you can see, there's quite a few of them, which means it's very well supported, including the latest. So. I'm going to start off by downloading the 64-bit version and I'm going to say save file. If this default software install works for you, great. I'm doing it in an alternative way to give you an alternative option because sometimes, for some reason, things don't work as it should. So it's always good to have a second option. So we can say save file. And now I'm just going to go back because we have to download another package. As you can see, VirtualBox 5.22 VirtualBox extension pack. I really like this app. It makes it more user friendly and it's for all platforms. It, one package to shoot them all. That's awesome. So we say save file. As you can see, we are busy downloading everything, and I'm gonna fast forward the video while this is downloading. As you can see, they might take some time, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the download, so I will see you in a bit. Wonderful, as you can see, our package is finally downloaded. I don't know what's wrong with my internet today. <laughs> but now we will just click on this, in this file and we are in this directory. It's very important, the directory where the two files which we just downloaded is in. It can be any place, so depending on your computer, but just be with them. And now we will click inside this file directory a right click and open in terminal and move our terminal to the right and now we're going to type in sudo dpkg minus sign i space and now we're just going to go and say rename but we just want to get this whole name. So I'm going to press Ctrl All to get everything. Then Ctrl C to copy everything. And I'm going to leave the name as it is. And I'm just going to paste what we just done into our terminal. And I'm going to press Enter. Type my user's password. And now it will download. And in, no, 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 no. Now it will install everything. But it will run into some errors because it needs some packages to, to, to depend on, as you can see now. But we have to do this first step first, and then we can run one more command, which will fix everything up. So don't worry when you see it's not installed, not installed, errors were encountered. Then you know you are on the right track. Now we're going to type in sudo apt with minus sign f install this will install all the things that is needed and we can press enter to confirm and now it's going to download 
about 10 megabytes so it's not so bad and as you can see it's going just fine and so basically this will fix up all the errors and make it all beautiful and working for us some of the nice new features in this release of Wittlebox is better performance between I think Mac and Linux systems like Mac OS and Linux systems or vice versa and vice versa for like copying pulling and kernel 4.14 is supported for the first time in this kernel so that's exciting I must try and see what we can do with that but yes yeah, so basically to restart set the process run it fixes up everything don't worry about these problems they your computer automatically fixes it you can remove these packets but now we first have to use this package we, we right click on it open with other application view all applications and then you scroll down to oracle vm wordbox that means we successfully installed our system as you can see it's here and you have to either read for all of this or you can slowly scroll down but you have to agree so it's better to read for everything copy in your password and as you can see it was installing that's all and let's just quickly close our the box and in your menu you will see under frequent it's there as well as under all it's there and you can also search so it's absolutely as expected and new features is machine tools details like of your operating systems and snapshots as we all know but global tools is new the virtual media manager if you click on this icon it gives us information about each one of these new options it's fantastic and when you click on this error you can actually go to them like this or like this then you can manage between them and they've also added some new icons as you can see windows got icons linux of course because we love linux it's only 32 bits because i'm running this operating system inside the virtual machine <laughs> they install virtual machine inside of that just for the sake of this video but i'm using virtualbox all the time and my host is running linux as well so and many ones of these got new icons which is nothing huge but it's nice that they care about the little things also yeah so that's basically it thank you for watching see you later goodbye